Do you want to learn how to deploy an S3 bucket using serverless? In this video, we'll show you exactly how to do that. In the previous video, we set up our AWS and serverless accounts. So in this video, we can now add a bucket to that account. To do that, we need to first set up our serverless instance in a serverless folder, and then we need to go in and set up the configuration for a serverless bucket. So what we're going to do is jump into the code and we can get started with that. In the last episode, we created a serverless project called My Serverless Project, and this was created with the user of serverless user. That created a Lambda function on our account, and that all worked great. Now what we can do is add in the resources to add a S3 bucket to this account. To do this, an S3 bucket is a resource. So it's going to be resource. And this needs to be on the base, same level as function. So on there. Underneath this, I'm going to have a capital resources. And underneath that, we're going to have the bucket that we want to create. So I'm going to call this demo bucket upload. And under this bucket, we need to give it some things, some definitions. We need to find a type. And this is AWS in caps, two colons, then S3 two more colons, and then bucket. We also need to define some more properties. On this properties object, we just need a bucket name. Because Amazon uses buckets across the globe, this needs to be a completely unique bucket name for you. And that means it has to be something that is very unique. And a lot of the common bucket names have been taken. I'm going to call mine my serverless project upload bucket and I'm going to add a random number onto the end of 123123. 1, 2, 3. So this will just mean that it's more likely to be a unique name and that means that it's more likely to be created. So I'm going to save this file and go into my terminal and type SLS deploy. What this is going to do is it's going to compile this into the cloud formation template and deploy it. We can see that happening here. So I'll get back to you when that's done. Now that has finished updating, our S3 bucket should be in our account. If I move over to my AWS account and go into S3 buckets, I can refresh this page. And now we can see that my serverless project upload bucket dash one, two, three has been created. If we go in there, there isn't anything in there. So what we'll do next is learn how we can upload images using Amazon's S3 sync. So back in our code, what we can do is we can go up here and we can add a plugin. So the plugin we're going to be using is called serverless S3 sync. So we're going to list out the plugins and it's going to be serverless dash S3 dash sync. And to configure this, what we can do is we need to define a custom parameter. To do that, all you need to do is set custom and inside here for S3 sync, we set S3 sync object, which is a list of buckets and files that we want to set sync up. So the first thing we need to do is the, is to provide the bucket name. So if we scroll down and copy this whole bucket name from here, paste it in. We also need a local directory 
So local dir. What this means is the directory or the folder on our machine that we want to upload. So at the moment, we don't have anything to upload. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder and call it upload data. Inside upload data, I'm going to create a file called upload me.txt and I should be uploaded. So save that file. And now we can go back into our serverless.yaml file and set the upload directory to upload data. You can put whatever you want inside this folder. You can call it whatever you want as long as the local directory here matches up with the local directory name there. So to get this plugin to work, we first need to install it. We can do that by typing npm install dash dash save serverless dash s3 dash sync. Hit enter and that will install all the files we need to make this plugin work. So now that's been installed, we can type sls deploy and it will realize that we've got a new set of values and a new plugin inside this serverless file and it will upload this data to our S3 bucket. So that is finished and we can see here that S3 has finished syncing. So if we move back over into our bucket and refresh this page, we can now see that we have successfully uploaded this file called uploadme.txt. If we go into it and open it, we can see that it's just a file saying I should be uploaded, which is exactly what we want. You can use this method to upload whatever you want into an S3 bucket, be it videos, photos, files, anything you want. So thank you for watching this video where we have used serverless to, to set up and deploy an AWS S3 bucket. You can now use this to create as many buckets as you want and deploy them to your accounts. If you've liked this video, make sure to give it a like and if you want to watch the next video, check it out down here. Or if you want to learn how to make a serverless API, check it down out there. That's great. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.